Have you ever built an awesome Lego mock or a Lego set that you're just so excited to have built and you can't wait to display it and you turn around to put it on your shelf and you drop it and it shatters and it's gone? Well today hopefully this video is going to fix that problem because I'm going to show you how to glue your Lego bricks. Subscribe to Brick Lover 18 for more daily Lego videos. Gluing your Lego bricks definitely seems like a daunting task that nobody wants to do because what happens if you need that tile you just glued down for another mock? Well hopefully this glue is a solution to that problem. In this video I'm going to show you how to glue your Lego bricks with this new product called Leg Glue. It's the non-permanent glue that's strong and non-toxic and will come off when you rinse it in warm water and soap. I honestly think that this Lego glue is going to help solve so many Lego builders problems with the fact that they can now glue their Lego pieces and it's not permanent. You can take the glue off and use those pieces for something else. So of course, to glue your Lego pieces, you need the leg glue. If you're interested in learning more about leg glue, you can visit their website at legglue.com. The next thing I definitely recommend you have is a paintbrush. It says you can dip the Lego bricks right in the bottle, but I think you'll end up using a lot more glue that way, and I just think it's wasteful. I'm gonna use a paintbrush. As I'll find out later in the video, the bristles from this paintbrush will actually fall off onto the Lego set and stick in the Lego glue, which you definitely don't want that. So don't use a really expensive paint brush but certainly do use a much better quality than a dollar store one. The final thing I recommend having is a cutting mat. I recommend using the cutting mat because it'll keep the surface you're gluing on clear of the glue. Before we start gluing I'm just gonna actually take a look at the Lego bottle here quickly. When you twist the top, the top off which is a little tight because it is glue but you don't want your glue leaking out so that makes sense. You notice that the glue is filled right to the top which is really nice because some companies do try and jip you with their glue when they sell it in a big bottle. Not this company. As you can see it looks nice and clear for your Lego pieces. Nice swirl. I don't know why I like that and I don't know why I'm showing you, but you really do get a lot of glue in this bottle for the price especially. So now I've got my cutting mat in place. I'm going to set my leg glue off to the side here as well as set my paintbrush off to the side and get the Lego set that I'll be building today. I decided that I'm going to build this Lego friend set and glue it together because this friend set I've had for a year and a half now and it hasn't sold so I figured I might as well just glue it up. Make sure I get all the pieces out of the bag here. So I'll set those off to the side. I mean, I guess you don't really care if you see them on camera. I'm going to open up my leg glue and set it right here. And it's really hard to film this because the camera's in front of me. Now that all her parts out of the bag here, I guess I'm going to take my paintbrush, dip it into the leg glue, and start applying it to the minifigure parts. Wow, look at me, I've completely glued my first Lego minifigure. I've only ever glued Lego a couple times for various custom products, so this is a pretty foreign concept to me. Now I'm going to start building the set. In case you haven't noticed, so far it's really easy. I just dip my paintbrush in the glue here. I take the piece or the piece I'm applying to, whatever one kind of works better, and I just paint the glue on nice and gently. I don't do it too much. I try not to get too much on the sides, but I do want to cover all the bricks and the studs and things like that to keep the glue in place. Now what I'm just going to do is kind of build the rest of the set by gluing every single Lego piece, and I'm going to film a time lapse of me doing that because why not? So I am now done. I completely glued my Lego set in about six minutes, which is pretty good for building and gluing a set. One thing I do recommend, which I'll add to the start of the video, is use a better quality paintbrush than I did, because now my leg glue bottle has a bunch of little bristles. I don't know if you can see them on camera, and that's really frustrating, especially when it gets into little pieces and you're trying to use your big fat fingers to pick the bristles of the paintbrush out. So use a higher quality brush. I got a brush from the dollar store thinking that would be better. It was not. Do not do it. Anyway, now that the Lego bricks have been glued, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave them for 24 hours, that's what it suggests on the bottle, to let them dry. It says it'll cure in an hour and completely be dry in 24, so that's what I'm going to do. So I guess I'm going to stop recording this video and check back in with you in 24 hours. See you in about 1 second, aka 24 hours. 
So here we are about 24 hours after I applied the glue, and here's some of the first things I noticed. One is I did a horrible job trying to keep the glue less sloppy. As you can see, there are like residue of the glue everywhere, even where I don't want it to be. So I recommend when you apply the glue to your Lego objects, be very careful and try not to get it on your arms, but you'll probably get it everywhere, sort of just like I did. Another thing I noticed with the leg glue, it is actually very sturdy, and when I tip this, it does not break off like you'd expect it to, and that's because the glue is in place. The glue works so well, I can't even take the Friends doll apart. One of the main selling features of leg glue is of course the fact that you can remove all the glue when you put it in some hot water. So I'm going to head to my bathroom now, fill up the sink of hot water, and see how well the glue is removed. My sink is now full of hot water, so let's put the set in it. I'm going to work with this here. As you can see, when I take the uh, slopes off the plate, they come right off. Like, right off. No problem whatsoever. And as you can see, there is no glue residue left on the bottom of those. There is a little glue residue left on the bottom of the plate. So what I'm just going to do is hold it down and use my fingers to scrub on it some more. If you want to use a toothbrush, that probably works just as well. But as you can see, now there is absolutely no glue residue left on the plate, which is very good, very easy to take off. And now I'll work on a little bit of the rest of the set. So again, these window pieces come off super easy. A little glue residue in there, but I'm just going to wash that out and it's already gone. So again, take it off here. There's like no glue residue, just a little glue residue left on the window piece here. And I'm just going to scrub that off with my fingers. As I mentioned, using a toothbrush just to help, you know, get the little glue residue off. If there's any left over, works very well. Now I'm going to disassemble the rest of the set. So now I've just laid my Lego pieces that are completely free of glue on this towel just so they have time to dry out before I put them back into my Lego collection. Overall, leg glue has been awesome for me. I got to glue this Lego set, take the glue off the pieces, and now I have the Lego pieces to use for anything else and nothing's ruined like it normally would when you glue Lego pieces because you can never use those pieces again. Leg glue is definitely a great product considering it works very well and took all the glue residue off these Lego pieces just by putting them in water and you completely saw me do that. I didn't do anything else special and it was just plain water. I think they make a really great product here and this is definitely perfect for anybody who wants to be able to glue their Lego pieces but wants to be able to build the set again and they take it apart, use the mock pieces, things like that. Leg glue is definitely way better than any other Lego gluing solution I've seen because most of the time people just use either hot glue or craggle or something like that. Leg glue is so much better. Thanks everybody for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video where I showed you how to glue your Lego pieces as well as remove the glue so you can still use the Lego pieces. Thanks everybody for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. Let me know down below if you ever want to see more videos like this.